What's up everyone, this is J-Dub from ConfidentGamers.com. I'm here today to just kind of give my reaction to the recently released official Zelda timeline and the criticism that it has received. First, let me just start off by saying I think a lot of my fellow Zelda fans out there just need to calm down. Just relax, take a deep breath, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. Uh, but if we go back to 1998 and the release of the epic title um, Ocarina of Time, um, based on the way that game ended, a lot of fans started theorizing about a split timeline theory. And uh, rightfully so, um, because even later on, Miyamoto and other developers, they confirmed that Ocarina of Time does indeed have two endings. Okay, One where Zelda sends Link back in, into childhood, and another ending where... Link stays in adulthood after um, Ganon is defeated. Okay, that's fine. Um, but based on that ending, again, fans started um, theorizing on where games should fit, based on their stories, should fit on this split timeline. Now we fast forward to 2011, this past December, uh, Nintendo releases this Zelda Bible called Hyrule Historia. And in this book, in the complete history of Hyrule section, uh, Nintendo drops a bombshell. This is the um, official timeline that was released in the Hyrule Historia book. Now, after doing a lot of reading and watching a lot of videos, um, it seems like most people do not have an issue with how this timeline starts off. Okay, um, Everyone knows, or should know I should say, that of course Skyward Sword, that is the beginning, that's the first game. And again, most people don't have an issue with the progression from Skyward Sword in the beginning. Uh, Minish Cap coming next, and Four Swords following, and then of course Ocarina of Time. Then after Ocarina of Time, we see our child split, um, you know, featuring sequels, Majora's Mask, and Twilight Princess, and Four Swords Adventures. And of course, we see our adult split, um, featuring Wind Waker, and Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks. Okay? Here is where World War III starts. Um, we have this unexpected third split in the timeline called the uh, Hero is Defeated timeline, uh, which no one seems to really understand. But I think that's the main issue. Uh, the main issue is that this third split was completely unexpected, and this split does not fit uh, what other people have theorized for years and so because this split was unexpected and it does not fit or look like the timeline that we've created now we have an issue with the timeline there's no way that the timeline can be correct um, ladies, ladies and gentlemen that's that's just an unfair criticism okay first of all we have to know that this timeline is not a complete timeline there are going to be future uh, titles Zelda titles that come out that can completely change the way this timeline looks okay but again this is what's out now so we can look at it again it is unfair to criticize this timeline because a we don't understand where this third split comes from or b because it doesn't fit our theory or what we've thought for the past 10 or 15 years okay that's crap all right secondly you know to the people who have an issue with this timeline i just have a, a couple of questions for you. First, you know, have you played all of these Zelda titles that are on this timeline? Have you played and completed these titles? Okay, do you know the stories of these titles in and out? Okay, um, if you have not at least played or completed them, have you read a complete synopsis on on the stories of these titles? Okay, if not, then how can you have any type of criticism on this timeline? Uh, because you really don't know the history um, of the game. Okay, so it's unfair to criticize something that you don't fully understand. And that's just the way of the world. We, that's, that, that's how we operate. Okay, um, but again, just because you don't understand it, or just because it doesn't, fit, it doesn't fit where you feel like it should fit, or what you think it should fit, does not make this a bad timeline, and it does not make it incorrect. Okay, is there, if there's anything that we do know is that Nintendo usually gets it right. More times than not, they, they they get it right. And again, if they released it, I'm gonna I'm gonna side with them. I'm gonna think and I'm gonna agree, or I'm gonna feel like 
Nintendo knows what they're doing, okay? Because they've proven to me in the past that, uh, you know, they may not start right, but they usually get it right. And if Nintendo releases it, I'm going to go with the timeline and I'm going to say it's right. I'm going to say the timeline is correct and, you know, it's fine to keep theorizing. It's fine to try and explain this third split. That's fine, okay? In fact, I actually like reading and watching the videos of people trying to explain this timeline. I, I mean, I, I, I really do like it. I just don't like the criticism of it because the fact of the matter is, you know, you didn't make the timeline. Nintendo did. And it, I just have to, again, feel like or agree with them and say that this timeline is correct. Okay? Um, it's going to be very interesting to see where the future Zelda titles that come out fit on this timeline and how it affects the way this timeline looks and you know of course when that happens more people are going to be up in arms but you know you can't please everybody all the time but again just take a deep breath just enjoy the games you, you we know this is the greatest gaming franchise to ever come out just relax okay it's not that big of a deal and um that's it until next time this is jado signing off